Well, I'd like to welcome back Valerie Geller, and you certainly know Valerie. She's been on over the years. She is the maestra of the Global Harmony Symphony. And coming up in just a few days, she's going to have both a concert and a recital. And the soloist, the star of that, is Yasuko Fur Furumi, right? And from Japan. Nice to meet you. Valerie, always good to see you. Good morning. Uh, first, tell me about this uh, series that you do, and we've had you on many times in the past. And once again, it's I know one of them is at the Laguna Hills Community Center, but then another one's in a private home, right? That's right. Actually, this is the first private recital we've done. As you'll recall, a couple of years ago, we had a wonderful series called Moment Musicale. It was once a yes, month yes. for half an hour, and it was fabulous. We featured wonderful visiting artists and wonderful local artists and unfortunately that was suspended for a little while but now with Yasuko here we're so happy to have the private um, rehearsal hall of our concertmaster of the Global Harmony Symphony they've been kind enough to make I'm that available nice. to us and so we're having, going to be featuring Yasuko in a lovely recital on Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. and uh, this is located in the city of Orange. We'll okay. It will be followed by a lovely reception. And certainly if anyone would care to attend, all they have to do is email me, maestra at globalharmonysymphony.com. And very, um, nice. very easy to find. I'll be happy to uh, make a reservation for you and send all the details about that program. And then immediately following, uh, Monday night yes. will be our fall concert which we have every year, and Yasuko is going to be our featured soloist and performing one of my absolute favorite works in the entire classical literature, but Rachmaninoff's fantasy on a theme of Paganini. It's absolutely glorious. And you were telling me that I didn't, did not realize this, that that was written here in the United States. It was. was he like visiting, or, or, or am I right? Did I hear you right? You did. I wish I knew the whole story behind that, that background, how that happened to be, but Rachmaninoff was in the United States and he composed this work here in the United States. And Yazuko, this will be her first time performing an actual concerto outside of Japan. She's uh, performed solo, she's been soloist. Um, can I say how old you are? Huh? <laughs> she's only 19 years old and she has been featured soloist with many symphonies in in the country of Japan, but this will be her first um, orchestral experience in the United mm. States with us. And so she finds it especially wonderful opportunity to perform her first time with symphony orchestra in the country where this piece was composed. Yeah, that is fantastic. And I'm looking at your background. Yeah. You've been playing since you were the age of six, right? Yeah. And I, the awards just go on and on, Chopin International Piano Competition, mm -hmm and Sebastian Bach competition, you've uh, the grand prize, and then the gold prize winner for the Piano Teachers National Association of Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. And there are over 1,600 members in this and have 600 branches all over the country. And you were a gold prize winner, right? Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is really impressive. So, yeah. um, what is that competition like? Do you have to go through different stages over months? Yeah, uh, I have three stages mm -hmm. to final. So, yeah, three stages I have. So it's a, <laughs> it's a long way to get <laughs> yeah, to become yeah. the gold yeah. prize winner. Wow. Uh, yeah. So tell me, what, what uh, I, I know uh, Valerie said you got this scholarship to come over to here, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Is this with the Pianos Teachers National Association? Is that how yeah. that came about? Um, Yasuko Fukuda's prize. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> nice. So first yeah. time in the United States? Yes, yes. That you've been time. to Italy and Poland? Yeah, yeah. So you've done, gone all over. Now, when you, when you go to the other countries, do you spend just a week like you are here, or you spend a longer time? Uh, always I stay about one week. About one week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just play, play, play every yeah. day, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are some of your favorite pieces that you do? Do you have certain ones that you, you really like? Uh, I love this 
Rough mind of pieces so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, are there, and you can answer this, Valerie, if you want, are there uh, a lot of, com or any composers that, uh, from Japan over the years, that uh, where they have done symphonies and concertos and things like that? Because quite often you'll bring some people on from Japan. And right. Yeah, there are, but. But I you don't hear of that part, am I right? You don't hear them that, that often. Probably one of the most famous pieces would be the Butterfly Lovers Concerto. Okay. And that's been written as, it's been transcribed for solo violin. It was okay. original. I think it may have originally been written for Erhu um, and it's been played on piano. It's a wonderful piece. <gasps> Now, is, is, that, the, is that Japanese? Excuse me, maybe I'm misspeaking. Now, I is wonder that, if that's, no, it might be a Chinese. Is that because yeah. that, you know, over, Chinese really throughout the world, when people, when people uh, you know, kids study this, they're usually doing the, the, what's called the great composers. Mm -hmm. And they, is it because they aspire to do Bach and Mozart and uh, Rachmaninoff and, instead of something that came out of their own country? Is that something that you find even here in the United States? Yeah, it's definitely um, European classical yeah. style. And I, th I think when I mentioned Butterfly Lovers, I think that's actually Chinese composi composition. But um, yeah, you don't, you don't hear as many works of, of our time, so to speak. Yeah, or, which yeah. I would find interesting. It, it would be very yeah. interesting. Um, but. You know, to give it the right inflection. Yeah. And I think it's very nice to listen to these pieces performed by by the original artist or by the original composer, especially contemporary yeah. composers, so that if I were to research a piece and just rent the music mm -hmm. for the orchestra to perform, I might not have the correct emphasis. Right. And this is the music that we perform with Global Harmony Symphony is largely music that we're accustomed to that we've grown right. up with in this yeah. country, but with our hopefully expanding universe and it would be nice. It would be so nice to to have and introduce more music yeah. from different parts of the world. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So Yasuko, you are a what we would call a sophomore. You're in your second year of college. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So over there, it's four years, just like here. Mm -hmm. What are your plans? after graduation, do you want to tour the world and play? Yeah. Uh, that has not, hasn't been decided yet, but I wish to continue to study piano in other countries overseas. Yeah. Yeah. Now, being the fact that you're, uh, you play or you're within the Piano Teachers National yeah. Association, yeah. do you aspire to teach one day? Mm, or do yeah. you want to just play for a while and both. Yeah. I want to both because I will pass on mm -hmm. to the next generation. Yeah. Yeah, what I have learned by teachers or what I have discovered myself. Yeah. yeah. It's you know, you and I are sitting here and, and seeing this, this young woman going passing on to another generation. <laughs> It's remarkable. I mean, it's wonderful that, that you are already seeing that. I mean, it may not be for another 20 years that you're passing on to the next mm -hmm. generation, but the fact that uh, you want to give back one day mm -hmm. and pass that on, I think, is wonderful. It really is. And something, I read a statistic, I hope that this is correct, but I believe about 25% of the children in Japan are studying piano. Wow. And so it's a wonderful, even if they don't progress through that particular instrument. It's a wonderful way to begin a musical education and move on to other instruments mm -hmm. and uh, develops a wonderful discipline for all different areas yeah. and oh, arenas. Yeah. And uh, it's, I think it's a real great thing. I wish um, we could make music more available to children here mm -hmm. at an early age. And I think it opens up a whole new world of culture and yeah I think you're right dialogue yeah. it's it's terrific so did you choose this piece mm -hmm. that you're doing here the Rachmaninoff piece yeah. what why what, what do you like so much about it because I I love this piece and uh, especially Rachmaninoff writes wrote this piece on here yeah so 
I really want to play this here. Yeah, so yeah. It, it just kind of flows. It, it, comes all, it comes around, doesn't it? And there are a couple of things. Uh, the theme of the, 20, of the 24th Caprice mm -hmm. for violins, Paganini has a book of caprices. The 24th Caprice is a very famous theme. Bum, ba -ba -da -da -dum, ba -ba -da -dum, ba -ba -da -dum. It's almost iconic. And Rachmaninoff turns that into an entire series of variations, and one of which is, I just get goosebumps thinking about it. It is so passionate and romantic and beautifully written. Da 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 da. And this theme has been used in multiple motion pictures, and it's been soundtrack for little um, documentaries mm -hmm. and commercials, different themes. And I'll pitch one of my favorites. There's a movie, it starred. Moira Shearer and James Mason. It was mm -hmm. actually a little triplet of, of films. And the very first is in Story of Three Loves. It's a tragic love story of a ballerina. And it features this particular theme, or this variation mm -hmm. from the fantasy. Da, 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 da. It's absolutely fabulous. And if uh, your viewers would like to go to YouTube, and type in the Rachmaninoff fantasy and just put ballet movies next to it. All these wonderful oh, that's, images that's really will good. come up and you can see how this has been adapted yeah. in so many different areas. There was um, uh, Christopher Reeves made a very romantic movie about that's time right. travel. Yes. This theme is used in that movie. Yeah. And they turn it inside out and the composers of today so, have played so with it. So this would be very bit. familiar to yeah. people. Very yeah, so that'll be that'll be really nice. Now, at the um, you have the concert at the recital. Are you playing? Uh, you're you're doing Mozart and Chopin, yeah. so you're doing different things there. Yeah. Okay, and if people want to go to that, it is free. Donations are suggested, of course, because uh, Valerie puts a lot of time and effort into all of these. So you have two chances to go and. Uh, listen to Yasuko and just beautiful music. It's, uh, yeah. you know, it's nice that you do this. I, I know I've asked you this in the past, but how do you find all these, all this young talent uh, from, uh, from, uh, from different countries? You know, since I began, these programs are such a wonderful opportunity for the whole community to come together. Mm -hmm. And what a lovely opportunity to do it through music. And we have one program which leads to the introducing more people, mm -hmm. more people in the community come together, many musicians and networking and uh, folks just enjoy the opportunity to perform with people of a like mind for the love of the music. Our orchestra, which is one of the rare and unique aspects of this orchestra, we are not really in the business of music and music is today is definitely a business. Yes. And to survive in the world of music today, it's one of those necessary evils where mm -hmm. it comes down to dollars and cents and programming and sponsorships and grants and foundations and it just goes on yeah. and on. However, our orchestra, <laughs> we are completely volunteer. All the musicians are volunteers and it's the members of the orchestra through their generosity, not only of their talent, but their time and resources mm -hmm. that help to make this orchestra a reality. And we've been growing, and it's something that, since we are growing and our, our series is growing, I believe we're doing something very good. Yeah. I think the proof is in the pudding, and we've had a wonderful um, outreach also with the great Midori mm -hmm. Goto, the yes. violinist, yes. who has who knows about our orchestra and who has made recommendations. Many of her very gifted students have come. And fortunately, she's one- She's from Japan? Or does she live here? She's, well, she's international in school. Yeah, I remember. She's originally I, I'm, from Japan. Okay, because I know she's been on. Right. Yeah, and course. one of our very gifted local artists, Lika Handa, who is a one, she's been a guest on your show yes. in the past. She's <laughs> been, she's performed as a recital artist for the moment <laughs> musical in the past. She's sitting, hi. And she happens to be you right come over, over and here. Say hi. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and so um, Lika, having been originally from Japan and working with the, the, um, this university and very active in So all these the connections happen, yeah. Mm -hmm, she helped to make uh, Yazuka's visit with us possible, 
And, That's wonderful. And it just grows. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Mm -hmm. I, the website is globalharmonysymphony.com, and this recital is happening on Sunday, which is the twelfth, three o'clock, up in the city of Orange at the yes. residence of Mr. and Mrs. Roger Johnston. And then the very next day at Laguna Hills Community Center, the concert will be at 7.30. And that's a $10 admission for that free parking over there. A wonderful time. You're going to really hear some beautiful music. And uh, we thank you for coming over here, for sure. I know we'll, we'll probably see you again sometime. Yeah. Knowing Valerie, you'll be back again. And <laughs> Valerie, thank you. Uh, Valerie's going to be back at the end of the month to talk about her Messiah. Right? right. This that is our 10th consecutive annual event. Yes. Very exciting. Yeah. And I, we have to mention that she also is there up at uh, Disney for the Candlelight Procession again this year. That's right. Everyone, come on out to Disneyland. See yeah. You. Wonderful <laughs> tradition I there promise as well. to tip my bow to you all. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming on. We hope to see you again. And we'll be right back. Oh, 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 oh